Hey, how you guys doing today? It's out of tips. That's CA coming to you with another video. Today we're gonna be dealing with a no start. We have a, a 2009 Honda Civic here. Got one crank and one start. So we're gonna do the basic things, how to get to uh, the bottom of it. So the first approach that we could do is try to see how the battery situation is, how it's connected. So like you see here, I've got uh, my voltmeter connected. I got my positive lead, which is the red one. First of all, you gotta find it here. Like I show you here, like if you're familiar with the voltmeter. So this is a, a 12 volt battery. So we got our positive leads connected and the ground is connected. So you can see the battery is fully connected and we're looking at 12 volts. So I'm gonna try to start it and show you guys what's really happening, you know? So that's all. The dash is lighting up. You can see the numbers when I'm starting it, like still it's within that range, you know? You see? The lights are bright, like, so that tells you forward that the battery is fine, you know? Because it's showing 12 volts. Under load, it probably goes to about 11. As long as it goes about probably uh, not, uh, over 9.5, like minimum is 9.5 on this car, it's because it's a four cylinder. Even if it goes nine, you'll still be able to start in a, in a normal weather, you know? When you got a situation like this, the first thing you should check is once you got your, your batteries connected, the voltmeter is reading proper volts. So now we have to check the ground size of it, you know? So for that, uh, basically what I could do is I can get a booster here. <clears throat> I got this booster either the red lead or the black lead. So in this case, we got to take the red lead from this side, and then I'm going to use another red lead here. Just to do a quick diagnostic. Everybody carries this in the back of the car. It's like some sort of safety. So I'll go from the ground here to the ground on the chassis. You see? And then this is straight on the battery ground, okay? And we can still measure the volts while we're doing this. The ground, so what we're checking now is the ground side of the battery because you gotta make sure you have a strong ground and a strong uh, power for the car to start. Even your battery is good, you always have to check, especially the ground. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. <clears throat> there you have it. So like I said, uh, it's always good to check your grounds. And as you can tell, we just, all you had to do is uh, add extra ground and the car started. So that means we have few grounds are missing. What grounds are like, there's a, there's a, a bunch of ground straps that will go around the, the, the engine, like in the block, on the frame. So you gotta make sure they're not rusted. So I'm looking down here. I don't know, let me take this one out. So we don't need that because now we were able to diagnose what the problem is. I see there's one strap here, it's just rotted out. So, so the next time, yeah, I think this is our problem here. Honestly, definitely. This could cause the problem. Let me just see if that <clears throat> can help. I just have it temporarily kind of cleaned up. Bingo. So definitely all it took was one ground strap right down here, right next to the battery. This is like, it goes right to the transmission here. It mounts into the transmission. So Auto Tips is all about saving you guys money. Uh, every week we're gonna bring you fresh videos. Uh, so please subscribe to the channel and we're gonna be saving you guys a lot of money, okay? So click that button at autotips.ca. You can link with us on YouTube. 
which are out of tips uh, CA uh, or you can uh, go straight to the site you know but like I say we're gonna bring you fresh videos until next video